Welcome back to my channel, folks. Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your current Windows 11 to the latest version, 25H2, especially if it's not showing up in your Windows update list. As you can see, this machine is currently running version 24H2. First, make sure your Windows is fully up to date. Complete any pending updates and restart your PC. Once rebooted, check for updates again. Also, make sure you've enabled the option to get the latest updates as soon as they're available. As you can see, my PC says it's up to date, but it still isn't showing version 25H2 in the Windows Update section. So, there are two methods to force the update, and I'll show you both. Method 1, using Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Open Google Chrome, search for Windows 11 Download, and head to the official Microsoft Download page. From there, download the Windows 11 Installation Assistant. You'll also need the PC Health Check app to make sure your device is compatible with Windows 11. As you can see, my PC is compatible. Now let's try the installation assistant. In my opinion, this method isn't always reliable, but let's test it anyway. The tool will download the latest Windows updates and attempt to install them. As you can see on the screen, the installation has failed, even though my PC is compatible. So let's move on to the second, more reliable method. Method 2, using installation media. Again, go to the Microsoft website and download the Windows 11 installation media creation tool. Run the setup, accept the terms, and let it detect your system language. Usually, you don't need to change anything unless you're creating media for another PC with a different language. Save the file as an ISO, give it any name you like, and save it. Now, mount the ISO file, run the setup.exe, and follow the on-screen instructions. It will check your system, ask you to accept the terms, and then give you the option to keep everything, your personal files and apps. Click Install. The process will take some time, and your PC will restart a few times during the upgrade. Once it's done, go back to Settings Windows Update, 
and you'll see everything is up to date. If you check under System About, you can now see that the machine is running the latest version, Windows 11 25 H2. Clean up after the upgrade. Now let's clean up the system. You can safely delete the ISO file you downloaded to free up space. You can also run disk cleanup. But be careful, disk cleanup can also remove your previous Windows installation. That takes up around 14 gigabytes. If you think you might want to roll back to the old version, don't delete it yet. Instead, go to Settings System Recovery, and you'll see a Go Back option. That allows you to roll back to the previous version. In my case, I'm happy with 25H2, so I'll cancel that and go ahead with disk cleanup. After confirming, it warns me that I won't be able to roll back once those files are deleted. I click OK. It cleans up the system, and now I've got extra free space. And that's it. Hopefully, you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks so much for watching.